once again welcome back to the math revision made meticulous in probability topic today topic is bayes theorem revision as the name suggest means looking back over previously learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind five questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series the steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer let us see what is bayes theorem let s be the sample space and a and b are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events associated with a random experiment if e is an event occurred with a or b already we have seen that how to find the probability of e slash a that is probability of the occurrence of uh, e knowing that a has occurred then the probability of the e knowing that b has occurred it came in our total probability idea now we are going in the reverse order that is we want to find the probability of the event a knowing that the ex event of the second experiment has occurred that is a slash e it is probability of a into probability of e slash a by probability of a into probability of e slash a but probability of b into probability of e slash b in both the formula have you noticed one thing that is the total probability formula is coming in the denominator the total probability formula is coming in the denominator in the numerator if it is a slash e the first term comes if it is b slash e the second term comes suppose if it is the third term is there that will come in the numerator but very easy to remember the formula but remember whatever there on the right hand side can be calculated we are going in the reverse order for bayes theorem we want to find the probability of the event of the first experiment knowing the result of the event of the second experiment well now if you take uh, three events now that is a b c and uh, a slash e yes b slash e c slash e i have given you you are here once again please notice the denominator in all the formula of bayes theorem is the formula of the total probability only you have to find p of a e slash a then p of b p of e slash b p of c and p of e slash b fit it in the formula and you will get the answer now normally when you go to your textbook your textbook will give it for n different events i have given that formula also but in the exam you can have it for 2 3 like that you can remember and then go about it now let us now check that how the experiment will be there then how the probability question will be there already we have discussed this in total probability also check out ball are drawn from one of the two or three given back and the color is noticed what the meaning of color is noticed you are knowing the outcome of the second experiment you are knowing the outcome of the second experiment red ball has come green ball has come white ball has come now you will be asked to find suppose the red ball is what is the probability that it has come from the first bag if it is a red ball what is the probability that it has come from the second bag if it is a green ball what is the probability that it has come from the third bag like that our probability will be asked on particular bag it will be bayes theorem if the probability question is asked about the color of the ball it is total probability problem if the problem is asked on the particular bag color is noticed what is the probability that it has come from bag 1 bag 2 bag 3 then it is bayes theorem then this is the way to remember it in the exam also the same thing suppose ball is transferred and second bag some ball or balls are drawn and color is noticed now you are asked to find the probability of a particular color if the ball is transferred okay probability of a particular color is transferred that is the first experiment okay now uh, item produced by different machines and probability of production and defective known an item is drawn at random and found defective and uh, in total probability we will be interested to find the what is the probability of it to be defective but here we will try to find the probability of the defective item manufactured either by the first one or the second one or the third one for this is the bayes theorem actually bayes theorem is highly useful for doing some rectifications well now let us go to question now question number 1 a bag contain 4 red and 3 black another bag contain 2 red and 4 black one bag is selected and one ball is drawn from the selected bag till that you it can be asked as a total probability problem also but continue if the ball is red if the outcome of the second experiment is fixed then it will come under bayes theorem not only that find the probability that the ball is drawn from the first bag 
probability about the outcome of the first experiment is asked about the bag is asked therefore b is there so let us continue simple there are two experiments let us just continue with the idea which you already seen it in total probability selecting a bag and selecting a ball selecting a bag all of you know event of selecting the first bag is a event of selecting the second bag is b both are 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 if there are three bags 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 good now let us continue with that uh, finding all the things which is required for the base theorem formula first bag contain four red and three black second bag contain two red and four black let us go to the second experiment drawing a ball from the second bag but it is event is fixed event of selecting a red ball because the ball is noticed event of selecting a red ball therefore e slash a is probability of selecting the red ball from first bag therefore it will be 4 by 7 because 4 red balls they are there in the first bag probability of e slash b is selecting a red ball from the second bag total there are 6 balls 2 is red therefore 2 by 6 which is nothing but 1 by 3 anyway now we are uh, once again recollecting a is the event of selecting the first bag b is the event of selecting the second bag e is the event of selecting a red ball p of a p of b p of e slash a p of e slash b everything is ready for base theorem let us see what is asked in the question in the question it is asked what is the probability that the red ball is drawn from the first bag it will be a slash e that is probability of red ball from the first bag knowing that red ball has come therefore a slash e it is not e slash a going in the reverse order what is the formula formula we know total probability will be in the denominator p of a into p of e slash a plus p of b into p of e slash b numerator will contain p of a into p of e slash a suppose if they ask the red ball drawn from the second bag all of you know what is the formula for it now substitute all the values there simplify half will be cancelled in numerator and denominator do the simplification very quickly now the final answer is 12 upon 19 therefore be careful first to fix the problem whether it is in the base theorem then try to find all the things required for the formula of the base theorem put it there we we'll go to second problem there are two bags first bag contain 5 white and 4 black second bag contain 3 white and 6 black one bag is selected and two balls are drawn in the previous problem one ball here two balls if the chosen balls are happen to be white and black be careful both of them may be white both of them may be black but it is found that it is one white and one black find the probability that the balls let us talk about uh, the experiments experiment number one there are two experiments selecting a bag and drawing two balls from the selected bag bag is selected and two balls are drawn well now let us go for the experiment selecting a bag is the first experiment a is the event of selecting first bag b is the event of selecting second bag p of a 1 by 2 p of b 1 by 2 some book will call it as even e2 it is left to you but i am calling it as a and b let us now go for the second experiment it is fixed there drawing one white and one black from the selected bag now either it can follow a or after b that is from the first bag or the second bag for e slash a selecting one white ball and one black ball from the first bag and is coming inside the same experiment therefore it is uh, one white therefore 5c1 into one black therefore 4c1 by total 9c2 because two balls are selected or 5 into 4 by 9 into 2 into 2 therefore the final answer 5 by 9 good now let us go to e slash b probability of selecting one white and one black from the second bag what are the contents of the second bag 3 plus 6 9 therefore denominator 9 c2 but the numerator will be 1 white and 1 black therefore 3 c1 into 6 c1 for 3 into 6 by 9 into 8 by 2 into 1 therefore multiplied by 2 final answer 1 by 2 now we are ready with all the values now p of a p of b p of e slash a and p of e slash b let us go to the question now it is the probability that one white and one black drawn from the second bag base theorem we are looking back reverse order therefore b slash e it is not a slash e it is b slash e what is the formula total probability will come in the denominator p of a into p of e slash a plus p of b into p of e slash b as it is the second bag therefore p of b into p of e slash b will come in the numerator put all the values half into half by half into 5 by 9 plus half into half therefore final answer is 1 by 2 into 18 by 19 
therefore 9 upon 19 very simple good let us now go to the third question first bag contained 3 red and 4 black bag 2 contained 4 red and 5 black one ball is transferred from bag 1 to bag 2 and then a ball is drawn from bag 2 the ball so drawn is found to be red in color base theorem problem find the probability that the transferred ball is black we have to we have transferred something but you have to check whether how what is the probability that black is transferred now let us see what are the experiments now there are two experiment transferring a ball then selecting a red ball from the second bag because uh, it is found that it is a red ball therefore we can call it as a ball directly selected transferring a ball from first bag to second bag Uh, for event of transferring a red ball from first bag to second bag is a then event of transferring non red here it is only black then what is p of a there are three red ball therefore 3 by 7 what is p of b there are four non red ball therefore 4 by 7 already i told you that in the first experiment all the events which we we are talking about are mutually exclusive and exhaustive therefore when you add them you should get 1 3 by 7 plus 4 by 7 is equal to 1 good uh, let us try with that uh, second experiment drawing a ball therefore let e is equal to event of selecting a red ball from the second bag e slash a is probability of selecting a red ball after a red ball is transferred what will happen if a red ball is transferred total will increase also a red ball number will increase therefore four red were there therefore now it will become five red 5c1 by total 4 plus 5 plus 1 therefore 10c1 for the answer is 5 by 10 then e slash b is probability of selecting red ball after a non red is transferred what will happen if a non red is transferred total will increase but the number of red balls will remain the same therefore it will become 4c1 red ball is 4 only now 4c1 but the total will change in the second bag as 4 plus 5 plus 1 therefore 10c1 for 4 by 10 now all the values are ready with me now the probability that the transfer ball is black black is which event it is event b therefore it is b slash e it is not a slash e it is b slash e so now apply the formula you know the formula denominator will be the total probability numerator will be p of b into p of e slash b substitute all the values now very quickly cancel that 7 into 10 70 70 70 everywhere you cancel will become 16 upon 31 but no need to multiply and waste your time If you are able to cancel something by taking LCM, better do it. Let us move on to question number four. It is also a CBSE question. A card from a pack of fifty-two cards is lost. Find the remaining cards of the pack. Two cards are drawn and found to be hot. Find the probability that missing card, mi missing card is a hot. Now, uh, sometimes two cards may be lost. Here, only one card is lost. It is once again. base theorem because card last is the first experiment and find selecting two cards from the remaining pack is the second experiment question is asked about the event of the first experiment the our base theorem there are two experiment what are they card from the pack is last drawing two cards from the remaining 51 cards a card is last but here i think a card last it may be any card but uh, when you take some book they will have four different events about it they will tell that it is a heart it is a club it is a or thing like that but now to minimize it what we can do is we can have only two experiment heart and it is a non heart very simple even that the missing card is heart and uh, even that missing card is a non heart that's all you know how many heart cards are there how many non heart cards are there for what will be the probability of a there are 13 heart cards are there therefore 13 c1 by 52 c1 the for 13 by 52 which is 1 by 4 now how many non non heart are there 52 minus 3, 13 it will be 39 39 c1 where it will be 39 by 52 which is 3 by 4 now all of you know that p of a plus p of b should be is equal to 1 good let us uh, move on we already fixed the event a and b now let us go to the experiment number 2 drawing two cards from the remaining 51 cards in that let us fix the event as selecting two hard card because that is asked in the question now what is probability of e slash a selecting two hard knowing that one hard is last there were 13 therefore only 12 will be remaining therefore 12 c2 from the total 52 also one card has been lost therefore it is 51 c2 therefore 12 into 11 by 51 into 
and I go to E slash B. It is probability of selecting two heart after one non heart is gone. What is the meaning that here 13 are there. Nothing is lost. Therefore, it is 13 C2. But in total, one card is lost. Therefore, 51 C2. Please see the numerator and denominator carefully. If a heart is lost, it is 12 C2 by 51 C2. If a non heart is lost, it is 13 C2 by 51 C2. Okay. Now it is 13 into 12 by 51 into 50. Now we are having all ready. Let us go to the question now. The question is probability that the last card is heart to card. For heart to card missing is event A. The word is A slash E. A slash E. That is the probability that the last card is heart. Therefore, you know what is the formula. Total probability formula will come in the denominator. Numerator will be P of A into P of E slash A. I am putting all the values over there. Final answer 11 upon 50. 51 into 50 by into 4 is cancelled in the numerator and denominator. Let us move on to question number 5. A company has two plants to manufacture scooters. Plant 1 manufactures 70% of the scooters and plant 2 manufactures 30%. At plant 1, 80% are rated as standard quality and at plant 2, 90% are rated as standard quality. A scooter is selected and is, to, and is found to be standard quality. What is the probability that it has come from plant 2? Therefore, they are talking about the manufacturing of the plant probability, therefore it is based there. Good. Uh, there are two experiments. Scooters are manufactured by plants and scooters are rated as standard. Experiment scooters are manufactured by plan 1 and 2. It is already given there in percentage. Therefore, A is the event of scooter manufactured by plant 1. B event of scooter manufactured by plant 2. They are all 70%. Therefore, 70 by 100. 30%. Therefore, 30 by 100. We are ready. Uh, we are ready with the P of A and P of B. Now, uh, it is also given that at plant 1, 80% are standard quality and 90% are uh, standard quality in plant 2. Now let us go to experiment number 2. It is a rating scooters as standard. Let E is equal to even that the selected scooter is standard. And uh, let us go for E slash A. It is the probability of the standard scooter manufactured by plant 1. It is given as 80%. Over 80 by 100. Let us go to E slash B. It is the probability of the select standard scooter is manufactured by plant 2. Therefore, it is uh, 90%. Therefore, 90 by 100. We are ready with all the answers now. A, B and E and P of A, P of B, E slash A and E slash B. Let us move on to what is the question asked. Probability that the standard scooter is from plan 2. It will be B slash E. Probability that the standard scooter is from the plan 2. Knowing that the scooter is standard, it has come from 2. Well, now the formula is we know total probability will come in the denominator. Numerator is P of B into P of E slash B. I am substituting the values now. 100, 100, 100, everything getting cancelled. Then zeros also getting cancelled. 27 by 56 plus 27. 27 upon 83 is the answer. Success is dependent on effort. All the best. Thank you.